a 40-year-old woman comes to you after she was found to have a reading of 2 plus on a dipstick proteinary a test at an insurance company medical examination. She is fit and well with no major medical history or family history of illness. She has no urinary symptoms and no edema. She is not pregnant. What issues you should cover? Proteinuria may be an early indicator of renal disease and increases the risk of renal impairment, hypertension, and cardiovascular disease. Exclude causes of transient proteinuria, which does not have these associations. If proteinuria of 1 plus or more persists on two subsequent dipstick tests at weekly intervals further investigation is indicated. History. Pertinent past medical history includes a history of diabetes mellitus, cardiac failure, hypertension, or connective tissue diseases. Drug history is important. Ask her if she is taking any drugs associated with proteinuria, particularly non-steroidal. Anti-inflammatories, captopril, or penicillamin. Any family history of polycystic kidney disease, reflux nephropathy, or connective tissue diseases is relevant. Examination. Look for signs of nephrotic syndrome and multisystem diseases, especially rashes, splinter hemorrhages, and brutes. Measure her blood pressure and repeat the urine dipstick test to check for coexistent microscopic hematria. If it is present send urine for microscopy. What you should do. Exclude the possibility of a urinary tract infection or diabetes mellitus. Quantify the proteinuria. Simpler than a 24-hour urine collection, and almost as accurate is to calculate a spot urine protein to create an in ratio from a single early morning urine specimen. The equivalence of more than 150 mg in 24 hours is abnormal. If proteinuria is in the nephrotic range of more than 3.5 grams in 24 hours, check serum albumin and cholesterol concentrations. Assess the renal function. Check serum electrolytes, urea, and creatinine. Creatinine clearance gives a more accurate picture of renal function than creatinine alone. Refer her to a nephrologist if she has significant proteinuria. Although lower values may be significant if other features of renal disease are present, such as impaired renal function, coexistent microscopic hematuria, hypertension, or features indicating an underlying systemic disease. Further investigations to consider when referring her include renal tract ultrasonography, immunology, and hepatitis B and C serology. If you don't refer her, review her after six months and then annually to reassess quantity of proteinuria, renal function, and blood pressure. Treat any hypertension aggressively with an angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor or angiotensin 2 receptor blocker. Audio jungle. Audio Jungle